In our last video, we did our 10 out of 10 co-op games. Well, today we're going to do our 10 out of 10 single player games, but with a little twist. Ten out of ten. I know it's hard to justify what is a ten out of ten game, but yeah. this is my personal feelings of our our personal feelings. Uh, <laughs> our personal feelings of what a ten out of ten would be when I think of this game. That's a ten out of ten yes. for me. That you can't get any better than that. Mm -hmm. the and twist. the twist is, we had to agree on seven of these. Yes. Seven of these we had to 100% agree. Yes, that is 10 out of 10. Then we picked one each. Which was also hard because there's so many games that are 10 out of 10. So that makes nine. And then you in the comments will recommend your 10 out of 10 game. Yes. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll do every, we'll gather all the recommendations in the comment section. We'll have a community vote and yeah. we'll see uh, what people think. Yeah. Okay. In no particular order, Super Mario 3 on the NES. This is a both of us pick. Obviously. Obviously. 10 out of 10. Oh yeah. I remember the first time I played this. Well, I don't even want to say the name of this game because I've been told I say the dude's name wrong. I don't, and I'm so confused Mario? now. It's either Mario. Mario. It's either Mario or Mario. It's and me, Mario. And I've been told. Oh, okay. That's how I know. Anyways, I say it wrong. I'm sorry. I'm Canadian. <laughs> Canadian, eh? Eh. Anyway, what, what do you think of when you think of this game? Raccoon. The raccoon suit. Yeah. Pretty damn cool. Yeah. Uh, the music. Yes. Very iconic. Yeah. I also think of a certain movie. Super Mario 3, mm -hmm. let me know what you think. I think, still my favorite Mario game. This is the first painting, too, I made for our game room. Up there. Yep. I think it was the first painting. Yeah. Well, maybe Hulk or Wolverine, I can't remember. Let's just say it was the first, so I'm not wrong. Let's watch Jen do math again. <laughs> no, it looks like smoke's gonna come out of my ears. Next game. Also just, a game that we agreed on. Yes. It's on the Super Nintendo. I almost quit it. She almost quit it right off the bat. <laughs> we have the Legend the of Zelda. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. A Link to the Past. Yeah. This, I only played this one... Not all that long ago, like four or five years ago? No, the time is passing by. You want to know when we played this one? When I got the uh, Super Nintendo Mini. Oh. That's the first time I played this game. Was that in like 2017, possibly? Something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm not going to pop this up. I don't know if you're editing it. I'm probably editing this one. I do know you played it upstairs on the TV. Yeah, I played room. in the living room. Yeah. Um, before bottoms. we ever had a game room. Yeah. Well, we had a room down here, but it wasn't a game room. Yeah. There was games in the living room at that time. Yeah. This game's awesome. You, like I said, I think you played it last year. Yes. And, uh... Almost quit it right off the bat. I almost quit every retro game right off yeah. the bat. I'm like, this is too hard. I get him in my own head about it. But <laughs> and I had to talk her off the ledge. Yes. <laughs> she yes. was getting ready to freaking jump. I was. <laughs> so this next one, I think we both agree on. Mm -hmm. It is kind of a more of a modern console ish yes. at this time, mm -hmm. and we've spoke about this game many times on the channel. Yes. It is the PS3. The Last of Us. Yes. I was very... My game in here? I... We gotta go up to my son's room and get this damn thing. Yeah. Play. He uh, hasn't played it all the way through yet. No. Um, I was very tempted to not add this to the list because everybody talks about The Last of Us. But it's a 10 out of 10. But it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This is 10 yeah, out of 10. I is... remember. I bought my first PS3 because Dennis recommended this game. I did yeah. not have a PS3. I had an Xbox 360. Yeah. And he was like, hey, you haven't played The Last of Us? I was like, no, I, I don't know. Yeah. I haven't played that game at all. He's like, I don't have a PS3. He's like, oh, dude, you got to get a PS3 just to play that game. Yeah. You weren't even playing games back then. Period. I wasn't. And I was like, and she was obsessive. harassing me hard to 
are we gonna play the are you gonna play the game are you gonna play the game today i was just like enthralled with yeah. sitting there and watching it and then i made it my life's goal to eventually be able to play the game and yeah. i did you played I, the ps4, PS4 copy the yes. remaster and then copy. i played the ps5 one ps5 remake of it. very controversial but uh yes i love it it's a 10 out of 10. next one next one are we gonna do the ones that i pick because this the next one on the top of the stack is one that i pick. okay well let's do that let's do that one. let's just do it all right this one is an RPG. Yes. I haven't played it yet, which is why I can't say it's a yes. 10 out of 10, and maybe I might agree when I do play it. It is uh, it's an RPG. It's a PS1. Yes. It was a gift from a friend. Yes. Fellow YouTuber. Yeah. And uh, I think it maybe maybe the, the game itself is really good. Yeah. Really love the game. But maybe it means even more because it was a gift from a friend. Yes. Because I don't know if I would have played it by now if I hadn't got mm -hmm. it from him. Because I, you don't, I don't, I never see it around town. I know. And it is Grandia. Yeah, you do not have a painting of Justin. I do not. You do not. Shh. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main character's name. I loved every minute of this game. Yeah. Like this game is so friggin' good. It's a uh, very feel good story. Very feel good story for sure. Yeah. Um, I don't remember it being overly difficult. I was like, it's a very happy, kind of a fun adventure. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this one might have been the second game after I played Skies of Arcadia. Oh. This might have been right after it. So I hit like, a, my, my first turn-based RPG that I played all the way through was Skies of Arcadia. Yeah. And then I think I played this one. Yeah. And I had like two bangers, back to back, bang, bang. I'm yeah. like, wow. Set that bar real high. Real high. Real high. So, I think Jen needs to play this sometime in the near future. And when you do play this one, yes. I think I will play the second one. Oh. Because I have the second one. You do. And I have not played it yet, and I know there is a, a viewer that keeps mentioning it in the comments, you gotta play Ground yeah. 2, you gotta play Ground 2, and I'm like, I want to. I have a lot of big RPGs. I think RPG Ground 2 or Suikoden 2. They're both. There's both. There's I think both. there's people in both yep. those camps that are like, oh, yeah. play the second one. Oh yeah. So. That was my pick. That was your pick. Guess what's the next one on is the it stack? My pick? It is Jen's pick. Oh. And I have not played this game. Yes. And this may be Jen's favorite game of all time, possibly. It might be. It is on the PS5, or at least that's the version I grabbed. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You think every version is the best one? Every version is great. I've played and them it all. It is Resident Evil 4. Yes. I can't say enough good things about this game. I have done a full three hour live stream with Brandon on it. Oh, what more can I say about Resident Evil 4 yeah. that I haven't already said? You're the reason I was scared of playing that game to begin with. How? <laughs> because of the tank controls, and then you got in that first village, and the chain got saw a guy came out. <laughs> because you're like, you watched He's unbeatable. me. He's unbeatable. We can't beat him. Because you watched me yes. play it for an hour and a half. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah. And you know what? Mike made it my gamer education pick for the month. He picked games for me, and I did not want to play it, but it was. The one I thought I should. Yeah. So I like I can't even tell you how happy I am. I played Resident Evil yep. before. Played it every way I can. So. Hey, goes to show you guys. Get your, maybe get, you need to get out of your own comfort level or sometimes. Yes. Play something you might absolutely love it. Can I say I haven't played one single horror game this year? That's how much I'm trying to step outside my comfort level. So this one is on the PS4. Yes. This is my favorite Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Biohazard. Yes. Which is Resident, Resident Evil, Evil 7. 7. Yes. Because they own it. Yes. We have not played in VR because Bob. Hey, Taylor. That's Bob. I've tried oh. it. I can't play more than a half an hour. No, it is. Definitely not. But I'll tell you what, in VR though, it is very. You're Intense. In, you're in there. Yeah. You're in there. You feel like you can touch the walls. Like it is, Oh, yeah. It is, it, yeah. It, I don't. I can't. I can never see me being able to play that all the way through because it's got to be 12, 15 hour game, yeah. something like that. I could never do that. Like, it I never take thought me a I year. could play the game. I was like, <laughs> it's terrifying. I love the game. It is so good. Yeah. I know Death Ran End, which is right. 
like nothing I ever do. I I no. never aspire to do it, but I think I got like three quarters of the way through and the you game, were like, and I was like, I don't think I died yet. I don't think I've died yet. I'm like, oh. And then I was afraid to die because I didn't want to at that point. I wanted to make I it all the way through. I want bragging rights. I want bragging. You guys died. Oh. Uh -huh. All right, we have a Super Nintendo. We do. Game on the next. On the next. On the next. On the so, next. On, <laughs> Super I don't game. know what it could be. Super Metroid. Yes. I played it first. You played all the way. You finished it first. Yes, you had. I have played it here and there a bunch of different times. Yeah. Kept saying it's fantastic, but I kept getting stuck. Yeah. And I wasn't, in my own old stubborn ways, wasn't willing to go and look up stuff to yeah. help me go. And But I did this, I played through this one last year. Yeah. Freaking awesome. Oh my Still god. Still holds up. So good. Holds up really well. Even today. Yeah. The, the music. music. <laughs> the uh, graphics. Yes, yes. The challenge the last level, the yes. challenge, the speed running out oh of there. Oh my god, it adds to the intensity of the entire game. You're yep. like, shit, we gotta get off this like oh, ready yeah. to explode situation. That was nuts. It was crazy. Bonkers. I loved it. Really good. Really, really, really good. Really Only good. add it to my love for Metroidvanias. Yeah. It, I just, I love them so much. Last one? No. Two more. Two more. Sorry. <laughs> Both of these are... Bangers! 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 If, if you look at me and say, what game do you want to play at Halloween? Oh... And yeah. it's on the PS1. And we play the vinyl at Halloween, too. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I think you guys might be able to guess. Guess it. But it is Castlevania Symphony of the Night, mm -hmm. one of the all-time classics on the PS1. Again, another gamer education pick for me. For you, yes. Yes. A funny story that maybe not everybody knows is I was at work, and Jen was playing through the game. Yeah. And accidentally well, I was texting deleted it. <laughs> Her save file on the game as we were, I was text, texting her at lunch. Yeah. Lost her friggin' mind. Oh, I, I went, came home, she was crying. I, I went through the seven stages of not. grief. I tell you. So. I went through denial and I was like, I'm pretty sure I can find a way to recover this. You can recover stuff on an SD card. You gotta be able to do it on a PlayStation 1 memory card. Well, I think there are ways we just didn't I don't have know the capabilities. There are. Anyway, then. So. What ended up happening is, what were you, like, 10 hours in, something like that? No, dude, yeah. I had two she was Vlad in... relics left, two Vlad relics left. Was, I was in the inverted castle. She was castle. great towards the end of the game. So what happened was, I told her what I would do is, I'll start playing through the game, and then where I'm, I would get to where she was at yeah. in the game, yeah. and then we would make two copies of yeah. the save file because I wanted my own memory card, not for yes. her to delete mine too. <laughs> so I think you just got to the inverted castle and I was like, okay, That's I'll play enough. from here. Yeah. I'll, uh, but enough. we ended up finishing the game pretty much almost around the same yeah. time, like in the same week, yeah. I think. There. I finished it first yeah. and I had a tougher time with finishing it because I, you ended up picking up. I went after that secret weapon. You I did. can't remember what it's called right now. I can't remember what it's called, but I know but it's, it's an enemy drop and yeah, it, like you had to go only, in and out, in and only out. Only I think of times. in the library, in a certain room, mm -hmm. and there was a certain enemy, and it was a random drop, and it was. It took me about 45 minutes, yeah. and I got it. And I was like, holy. Talk about game changer. I went mm -hmm. and absolutely obliterated the boss with that thing. It was so, I know. I was, was like, wasn't it so oh. tough? And you were like, it was like, no. No. Like, it literally took me five seconds to beat the boss, but I'm telling you, like, what a game, though. What? So. I went so out and bought a friggin' uh, turntable record player for us old folks. Yeah. And got the vinyl because I picked up the vinyl before. Yeah. And then we got the, the turntable. Yeah. But yeah, awesome game. So good. Last one. Last one. Anybody, anybody want to take any guesses? So, this is a technicality because if this video was being filmed two hours after, I would have completed the game. I'm going to complete it tonight. She's literally right I'm up, yeah. right there. So, literally. technicality, I'm completing and it tonight. you are already giving it a 10 out of 10. I'm already giving it a 10 out of 10. I, I can't wonder. imagine what would be. I wonder if she does a review of Should Be Cursing at the yeah, end. Absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. So, anyway, not. it's on the Dreamcast. 
And it is Skies of Arcadia. Yes. This is my first turn-based RPG that I played all the way through. You know why I speak so fondly. I right? know. The relationships <laughs> in this game, the writing, the music, music. the characters, mm -hmm. the frigging uh, airship could... battles. Yep. Like, uh, Graphics they... are still, still very, very nice, bright, yeah. vibrant, nice saturated frigging colors. Like it looks, still a, looks phenomenal on the there's TV. There's a guy at work that this is one of his favorite games, if not his favorite game. And the first thing he asked me when I started playing, are you skipping anything? Are you reading it all? Because he knows I'm a bad skipper. And I was like, I promise I'm reading everything. That was my only recommendation for her when I yes. said, when you play this game, take the time. I really to am. Get involved in the story. Yes. The, getting attached to the characters. I wish I didn't reading know. Reading everything. I wish I didn't know the after the ending stuff. Yeah. I know it because you told me about it, but I'm mm. looking forward to seeing it for myself. So if you can count, that was nine. Nine, yes. And now it's time for you guys in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Name one game or multiple games. Yeah. Whatever, I don't care. Name we'll as many as you want. Together. Put your ten in. I don't care. Yeah, that'd be put cool. As many or as you want. if you want to do a response video to either one of these, we would love to see what your ten yeah. out of ten games are. If you guys haven't realized that this is a hobby channel and we're in it for like just a bigger the community, community and like yeah. all our friends are playing games and we're talking games, we this is a channel where I really want to focus on playing the games Absolutely. and talking about mm -hmm. them, and not so much we collect obviously. But I'm not a reseller, and I'm no, no. not doing product reviews and stuff. We've touched on all this stuff before, but this is our main this focus. This is our main focus. Uh, yeah, for sure. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, game on. By yourself. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs>